Okay. So, uh, you know, we, we talked about a few different ways to uh, quarterback counter, quarterback power stuff. Um, we, to this point, we haven't been reading really anybody who's a first level defender. Um, our, our GT bash stuff kind of changes that. So, uh, you know, we'll run obviously normal GT with, with the, the running back being the, the counter runner. Our GT bash, he's flat action. Quarterback's reading the backside defensive end. If he's sitting or squeezing, we're going to hand it off and get the ball on the perimeter really easy. If he's upfield, then he's running quarterback counter. Okay. And, and we'll do this with a tight end staying down as a down block or in this drawing here. Obviously, it's to an open side, doubling the three to the minus one. First puller is kicking out the defensive end. Second puller uh, is ending up on the ID. This pull for the guard is the exact same as we teach it on counter. What's a little bit different from the tackle is we tell him to get a little bit more depth as he's coming around here. Okay, He needs to read this block. If it's a kick out, it's easy inserting. Um, if, if he ends up logging it, we got to get all the way around to get to that ID back in there. Okay, so here we are, um, you know, running this play again. Love this three by one nub side, especially for quarterback run stuff. Defensive ends, the quarterback's guy. We're going three for three on the perimeter with blocking. In terms of how we're blocking this uh, up front, he's down. Okay, we should be doubling here, blocking back there, pulling for him, pulling for him. The one high safety is the only guy who's unblocked. We get an upfield defensive end. We're pulling it. Kick out block. We kind of lose our second puller. Didn't get enough depth getting across there. Uh, quarterback does a great job turning it into a big time explosive play, 80 yard touchdown. Just enough gas in the tank. Okay. Not great footwork here by our by our tight end. Um, you know, kind of stepping under himself, lose things on the down block. And really that's the issue. It's not the lack of depth by the puller here, but that's the issue in terms of why we didn't get around uh with everything there. But in terms of of numbers and who we're accounting for, uh, you can see we got a guy for a guy. The other nice thing about this, it looks like they're bringing some type of uh, man coverage, cover one blitz here. Okay, he's man on the running back. That means the ID backer is way the hell out of the picture, and we got a big time explosive play. Love this block here by uh, the the intention of it. You know, this is, he's trying to cut him. Okay, we'll end up on top. Finish. Okay, and the beauty of this play is you, know, you can run it out of a lot of different sets. So here we are running it out of a, a, a two-back set, um, and the rules are still the exact same. Okay, but now in, instead of having three receivers over here and end up three for three, he's going to read least dangerous, which allows him to read most dangerous. So just looking at how we anticipate this sorting out, it looks like it's going to be some type of three insert type look. He should end up there, probably the running back on the safety. Now the running back is going to check inside out. If we were to get, get like a normal quarters look, we would anticipate the mic backer flowing with him. He would cap the box. Then the high safety would be uh, his player to, to make a play. Now, because backside here, I guess play side for counter, uh, we're getting a wide nine. We're telling the tight end to stay down. And he we should be able to kick out both those guys there. Okay. Now the quarterback, again, is going to read that backside defensive end. And if that defensive end is closing, we should be able to hand the ball off, get the ball on the perimeter, go three for three, make that high safety, make a tackle with a bunch of space, which he does just enough of. Okay, in terms of our, our blocking scheme here, again, we're never going to block out on this guy. We're going to stay down. Okay, so we gain an extra guy with our down block there, pulling around there, get the kick out on, on the wide nine. Boom, quarterback's a little bit wide with his mesh. I think he's just carrying out his fake. I want him to be right down that highway, right down the right down the hash. Okay. So, you know, these guys, uh, big pressure team, um, did a lot of different things that way. And and uh, one of the things I think is really tough with doing this at a three extended is you got to get the guy, the quarterback coached up on you're reading the C gap defender. So if you get blitz here, okay. And, and he becomes the guy that you're reading, which I think can be really, really difficult to do. So we tagged it. We saw blitz here. We tagged it where the 
the running back is just going to block the off tackle guy and we're going to run away from it. We're just running quarterback counter uh, away from the pressure. Okay. So in this situation, uh, we should be doubling all the way back to 54 kicking out. I believe this is number 11. And I think that's 31 should be the pull target. Uh, we're MDM there corner to safety. Boom. Uh, 44, excuse me, is way up field. Our running back does a great job of getting a piece of them. Quarterback does a good job of staying tight. Um, should have got a little bit more vertical, but still a, a 10, 15, 20 yard gain, whatever it was. Okay. And the reason we made this, you know, all it is, and you can kind of see him briefly talking here to the, to the running back. The, the reason we make this check is because if, if we were to try to hand this off, like, you know, let's say they were, he was upfield and he was down. Okay. If we get locked into the C gap defender there, well, then he's going to make that tackle for a loss of five. So if we can block the first thing off the tight ends, but or the tackles, but excuse me, we can stay tight for quarterback counter just like normal. Okay. Now, uh, against a quarters based team, okay, we're saying he's here. He's going to check the mic up to the safety, block the box first, get the play started. Quarterback should be reading here, should be doubling there, pulling the kick out, second puller ending up there. Again, we're MDM. Okay. Now, I, I don't know if the quarterback got spooked here or, or what the situation is, but you know, with the defensive end down, I would say we should hand this ball off uh, and 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 uh, get the ball on the perimeter. Okay. Uh, I think he sees a flash of color, whatever the situation is, does a good job staying tight in the second polar. Boom, quarterback run against going to a one high look. That's a that's a good football play. Now we talked about him three extended needing to make sure that the quarterback reads the C-gap defender. We don't teach that when there's a guy coming inside out from the box. You're locked in on the defensive end the entire way because even if he can't get here, receiver does a good job flat leading and getting the play started, even if he can't get there, he'll take that guy, you'll go up to safety, the running back's going to have to outrun the Mike backer uh, on the perimeter, make it a tough play, uh, uh, but we feel good about our athletes in space that way. Okay, in terms of counter action, okay, you know, would love to be a little bit thicker with this double team. Obviously, we're getting a blitz action, so the, the he's rocking out uh, again. Looks like some type of man coverage blitz, so so we get that action there. Um, really, the defensive end that we should be kicking out is is uh, gone. The only thing I don't like as much about this one is I don't like that we're trying to block outside in. Okay, love that we're trying to find work, but if if you're outside in. Just like we talked about the, the tackle and tight end wheeling on power kick out because now he's coming inside out and we can get that kick out block. So we can be right up the highway. All right. And again, trying to create a numbers advantage without using quarterback run. Um, so all we're doing, we call this our magic package. Okay. Is we're shifting the running back down here. Boom. Okay. He's fake meshing to the running back. Quarterback's just out here, and we're running counter uh, to the open side. Okay, so we're cutting off the backside DN, blocking the two. Okay, these two are comboing to 33, pulling to kick him out. Second puller, the tackle, pulling to kick out. I think that's 18 or 48. And the action of the back and the quarterback here should hold these two guys' backside. Again, what I love about the lateral mesh is it displaces the, the minus one backer who we're comboing towards. So we get good leverage. We can get him covered up. Boom. Ends up creating a walk-in touchdown. Okay. Good job by our first puller here. Again, if he's going to spill you, it's going to happen naturally. He's not going to let you spill, trying to get in the line of scrimmage. Boom. They're trying to cut you. Good job ending up on top. Easy money.